Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Jocelyn's Cabaret Season 2, Episode 3. Okay? I hope everybody's having a great day, great evening, because I don't know what time I will have this up, because it's almost look like in the morning. But again, having a good time of the day, wherever you are. Okay? Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to become a whole Jay Bird, Jay Bird. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. Do not forget to also like this video, like the video, like the video. Okay, you can also comment in the comment section. You can also share it on your social media by hitting the share button, which is always on your screen. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the notification bell, because that lets you know when I have new um uploads coming on and whatnot. Okay, do not forget to also to relax. Okay, to relate, to release, to center yourself and everyone around you. Okay, inhale and exhale to clear yourself of the foolishness of possibly wanting to chop someone in the thorax or the esophagus, somewhere around the body where they breathe and whatever, okay? Because they be getting on your nerve and whatnot. Do not forget to also follow me on social media at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. It's right here. It's right there, okay? You can also see that because it's always in the description box below of stuff and whatnot. Okay, so Jocelyn's Cabaret, okay, season three, girl, no, season two, episode three. I have watched this three times. I watched it the first time just to watch it, and then I tried to watch the second time for notes. I kept getting distracted, and then today I watched it, which is Monday. Well, now it's technically Tuesday. Um, and I'm just, again getting distracted. So I'm like, girl, leave it be, you know, saying work and stop paying attention to other things. But again, I have some photos or whatever. So we know there was a whole scrabble going on between Big Face, okay, and Lucky. And I'm like, girl, Big Face, how you stick Lucky into that beat up? Okay, she got beat up again okay not beat to a pope but still beat up nonetheless we see her over there standing barefoot while her pink negligee on after getting molly whopped okay by um lucky now the whole time all the fussing and fighting and back and forth is going on you got yummy p just spinning on the pole okay in her footy socks I'm going to spin, spin, spin to show what I can do. Because a lot of, it was a lot of fussing and yelling and cussing. You see, aqua fussing, a little bit with Big Lex. And Big Lex at one point was sitting in the corner. And I'm like, she going she gonna to do something? I don't know. Watch her. But I like Big Lex. Okay, boom, pow, pow. Anyway, so a lot of fussing going back and forth or whatever. Look, at the bottom of the day, Big Face is trying to fuss and fight with Lucky. Josh is like, what did y'all fuss and fighting for? What is going on? What's happened? The fact of the matter is, Big Face is still talking cash money stuff A by Lucky. She broke. She ain't got no house. She ain't got no car. Gave my man money. She said, cooch. I'm like, but so do you. You tell everyone, I don't dance. I'm a whore. I'm a prostitute. I sell. No, not I. You sell your cooch. For money all over the world, okay, all in the trees. You sell your cooch, but still, you you on this show looking to win ten thousand dollars. My thing is, you can't make it seem as if anybody on this show is below you because you in the same running that they are, my dear. So cut the bullshit out, okay. And lucky thing is, okay, you want to fight? Let's fight. Fight it or not, I don't care. Let's book it or not. Book, 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 fight, 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 okay? And so I, she goes, Jonathan, if I let y'all fight for 30 seconds, okay? If I do that, you have to let it go. Let it go and let it go. Let it go. Let it go, okay? Do it and get it over with. I'm tired of the back and forthness between you two crazy people in my house. I was like, because they is crazy, okay? Crazy as crazy can be because I'm like, they got issues. Now, this point, when Jonathan kills in the town, okay, I'm I'm. You got 30 seconds, and she tells Pretty, let her fight it off 30 seconds or whatever. Nah, I go, baby. Why I know? Forget the fight. You saying why you at, why we got beef? Why you bad at me? I got kids. I don't want to fight. Why you want to fight me? I'm like, bitch, you walked up and snuck her. You keep saying she snuck you the day before, and you were trying to get your lick back. That ain't how it go. 
It isn't. You can't. That ain't. You, look, she didn't sneak you for one. And I get you wanting to get her back. But how that happens isn't on you. You can't think I'm going to hit her one time and everybody should protect me. No, bitch. You have to fight. Okay. And fight. That's what happens. Think about that, white girl. Anyway, at this point in time, just, I'm like, okay, she pussy. You know what I'm saying? She don't want to fight. She's a scary hoe and can't fight and about to get that ass beat. I'm like, I think you're right, Josh. I think you're right. And I'm like, Big Face even said later on in the episode that she can't fight. She's not a fighter. We know. You're a hooker. Okay, anyway, at this point in time, looking like, look, you keep asking what the issue is. The issue is you keep talking shit about me. I'm tired of it. It's beef on sight. Let's fight. Period. Let's fight. Okay. And the thing to me was the day before at the little get together, whatever, it was Big Face who kept talking sh about Lucky the whole evening, which is why Lucky even came over there. Okay. If you would have shut up, ate your food, drank your drink, or even sucked the dick, I don't know, but put something else in your mouth besides the teeth and the tongue that was yapping that got you beat up the first time and now the second. Okay, at this point in time, she was like, square up, because Lucky is tired of talking, where Big Face is trying to save her face, that is big, from getting beat up again by Lucky, but to go well. At this point, she said, square up, and then she ran up, and she beat uh, Big Face ass. I mean, she beat her up, twirled her around. I'm my girl. First of all, her ass looked this the story, okay? The corner of her booty looks as if, you know, if you threw up, if you put a, a, a bowling ball in a bag and you just roll it around and it just kind of rolls, whatever, her ass is rolling around or whatever. But again, she got beat up, okay? From the front to the back to the side, she got beat up. So much so that Jocelyn was just sitting in this kindly uh, uh, nicely walked out the way. I'm gonna let you beat her up. I'm gonna let you beat her up. And again, beat up is what she got. Okay, it was a whole fight, a whole fight, a whole little fight. And at the end of the day, you should not be up here fussing with me if you don't want your ass whooped. If you don't want your ass whooped, shut up. Okay, this easy. If you don't say nothing, no one will probably punch you in the face for saying crazy stuff. But I was in the whole time they were fighting, not fighting because Big Face didn't even get looking. And she was, honey, it was like a whirlwind tornado coming. Annie M, Annie M, help me, help me. I was like, girl, calm down, Dorothy. Anyway. But the whole time of the scrap was happening, you hear a safari, girl, not safari, a sapphire. Get her lucky, get her lucky, get her lucky. I'm like, damn, okay, calm down. But again, it was like blue face, big face girl, keep talking bullshit all the time. So everyone is okay with like beat her ass because she deserved it. She earned that ass whooping. Okay, tornado and all of whatever. At this point in time, you know, it was fine. It happened, and Lucky got her stuff, and she left, went to a room. I'm going to mind my business in my room. I've done what I came to do. Boom, pow, pow. Big Lex said Big Face was swimming and bash joking because she beat her up that bad. I was like, yeah, she did. She, I told her, A.D.M., A.D.M., help me. Girl, it's crazy. Anyway, and John's like, you know, you got to do your ass. But again, I told you to not fight because I knew you could not fight back. It's on you. Not take that L. Mm -hmm. Take that L. Stop fucking with people when you can't fight. Now, we then see Josh and Sis and talk to Big Face, okay? Now, <laughs> this is after the beating up or whatever. Big Face is still tired. She's worn out. Boobs are all scratched up. Her knee a little bit scratched up because it was a little tussle or whatever, okay? Now, Jonathan niggas, why do you have an issue with Lucky? We used to all be friends. What's going on here? What happened here? What's your issue here? Was she not loyal? And Lucky swung on me first, and I want to get my swing back, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, how can she be a bottom bitch when she pay me? And blah, 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 blah. You know, she has to improve from season one to season two. Blah, 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 blah. And then say, you know, nobody should be selling cooch and still on the show, you know, trying to make it. I say, but, but you sell cooch. You keep making it seem as if she hasn't done anything since season one, but y'all are both on the same show. Y'all both sell cooch. 
How does a skillet get mad at a frying pan for cooking food? Y'all both do the same thing, even if y'all are being called different things. You're a trapper, she's a prostitute. Y'all both selling a puss. Does it matter? Does it matter? I don't like how she's making it seem as if only Lucky sells puss. She do too. You keep saying, I'm not a dancer, I sell cooch. When Jocelyn then said, first of all, Lucky weighed 90 pounds. We got beat up by a, a, a elementary school kid. I say she is because she's small. She's so tiny. But again, she beat that ass or whatever. Okay. Anyway, Johnson thing was, well, you keep bringing up, you got demoted. I never gave anyone bottom bitch or captain status. Or I never told anyone who they were here. But I'm your fa- No, Johnson kept on her, you're my favorite. And then Big Face kept on somewhere. You know, I, I'm here for you. I'm loyal to you. I'm like, but well, she's never told you that you are a bottom bitch. You can want to be as loyal as you want to. She's never given you a title. Okay, Big Face? Ever. Ever. Okay, and Johnson's point was, the Lucky has stepped her game up since season one. Okay, and that's the reason I gave her bottom bitch, Captain Cabaret, title. Okay, and plus you kept fucking with her and bullying her, and she did not take it anymore. You got beat up. That's really what it is, okay? You have a choice to be here, okay? Stop being emotional, stop being weak, no more fighting, and get your together and toughen up, okay? That's on you. Because I'm here for you, Johnson. I'm a dancer. I'm a hoe. But why? Are you, what kind of hoe comes on a dancing cabaret competition? Girl, get your big face. Get your big face ass out my face, okay? So we do see Jocelyn. She went and talked to Lucky. I don't have a photo of that, but I have this one, okay? It's Jocelyn and Lucky in a photo, okay? Nonetheless. Anyway, she goes to talk to Lucky, who's also in the room with um, Lex Blow. Big Lex and Sapphire. Okay, they're all in that chit and chat now, whatever. You know, we need to talk what's going on. Now, Jocelyn tells her the same way she told um, Big Face, I need to talk to you and Big Face tomorrow, you know, one-on-one or whatever. Y'all can't keep fighting. If y'all keep fighting, one of y'all will be sent home, period. Okay? Stop fighting. I don't even know what y'all fighting for. No one does. Okay, no one does. And she also brought up, y'all both got y'all one lick in. You punch her the first time, she punched you the second time, and then the third time, you beat her ass with each time, she beat her ass with again. Both of y'all have, have now swung on each other first. And y'all have now had a third fight that was a fair fight, even though you won on three. Okay, but again, no more fighting. Now, uh, Sapphire, uh, Lucky, Lex Blow, all of them in there. Oh, and Big Lex, they were all just like, you know, it don't even make sense for Big Face to be here because, again, she don't dance. So why is she in this company? She doesn't perform. She can't do a cabaret. Because no cabaret, it, it doesn't, it's not a dick sucking uh, portion of cabaret. It isn't. And if it is, it ain't legal. Okay. Anyway, they're like, she need to go on somewhere else, go on somewhere where she can suck dick in peace, but you can't come here and suck dick. Okay. This is not a dick sucking competition. It's not what it is. And when I'm not going to be, and lucky, like, look, I'm going to fight for my spots. Okay. I'm here to win. I'm going to fight. Come hook a crook. I'm like, well, I guess so. Have fun with that or whatever. They then all dance to, to walk like a dog. I'm like, well, okay. I guess so. Now, we then see a whole little conversation between these four. Okay, we have Chanel, who was in the bottom right corner. I don't know if it's flipped on y'all screen. So, Chanel has the long hair that's, you know, wavy or whatever. We then have Aqua, who's up at the top corner with the blue hoodie on. I'm, is she from Detroit? Because <sighs> she has a, a Detroit versus everybody sweatshirt. That don't mean she's from here because people who are not from here, what else is because? So I don't know. But I'm like, girl, you are not representing Detroit well. Anyway, but again, Aqua up in the top in the hoodie. We have natural, of course, the dreadlocks and then Boss Tech talking. Boss Tech went and got her hair done. Where? Where? You went and got that done? That's it? That's it? Who did that? I don't know, but it, it just doesn't look like. She went and got her hair done. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, but a lot of these hairstyles in this house is, you know what I'm saying, horrific, but I might like, be going to let it be. So anyway, they're chitting, chatting up, whatever, because again, yeah, Boss Tech missed the events of earlier. Was it earlier that day or whatever the fight, the, the following day, the, the, yesterday, because it was the following day. So again, she missed us. Let's, let's, let's fill you in on what happened. So they do tell her about all the dances, you know, so-and-so dances and so-and-so dances that. 
I don't really care. But it was funny how when Aqua tried to say that Big Left did just okay. And I like how Natalie said, no, 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 no. She did good. Okay, she was really, really good. You know, don't be a hater, bitch. Do not be a hater. I still can't get over how Boss had looked like he just went and got grease or jam or spritz put on them edges. And that was it. You want to do edit done? That's it? Okay. Anyway. They then bring up the fight. Okay, it was a fight. Now, they mostly said how they all understand how the first fight happened, you know, with uh, Lucky being pissed and how the second fight happened with, with Big Faith trying to get, you know, back at her. But the third fight was done. Okay, because at that point in time, Big Faith knew she could not fight at all. So why keep messing with that girl when you can't fight? You keep getting beat up by the 90 pounds, maybe 91 pounds, uh, the, um, Lucky, that's dumb. Okay, don't do that. I, I agree. Now, Boss Tech tries to speak up for her and say, but she's so nice. You know, when you get to know her, she's so nice or whatever. And she has, you know, she has a hard exterior, but she's so soft on the inside. And I was like, no, that's not true at all. And now it's like, look, at the end of the day, she out here acting, acting tough, but she's soft and jello. You can't do that. You can't be a bully who can fight. When you're a bully who can fight, you get your ass beat. And that's what keeps happening to her. She tried to bully, she tried to bully only Lucky. And I think it's because she felt like Lucky would not fight back and she's the smallest. And so you tried the little person and got your ass beat a third time. Leave it be. And she then said she got to sit her ass down because you can't fight. Sit your ass down honey. Point blank period. Okay. And then when Natural and um, Natural and Aqua left, you see Bossek and Chanel who was trying to be cool with Big Face. I don't know why, and that one's the cooch. They feel as if something was wrong or whatever. They should talk to her because why is she fussing with Jocelyn too about how she just has to be here and she can't make so-and-so a bottom bitch and blind girl, I don't care. It would seem too much. Now we do see a little second little conversation with Sapphire and Big Lex. They're just like, look, you know, Boss Tech mixed out on dance and that was dumb, dumb, dumb. Who does that? getting the air done, her hair was already really done. And also, Sapphire brings up how, you know, this whole thing is life-changing. So the fact that Big Face is here when she's not a real dancer is bullshit, okay? Because she wants to get what she can get while the getting is good because she's been dancing for a long time. And I think she know I can't dance forever. So I'm at a point to where I have to make some shake, okay? Something has to happen for me so I'm not 50 out here stripping. Okay, and Big Lux, I'm down for whatever. I'm like, oh, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight eventually. Okay, we then see Big Face and Jonathan talking, sit on the chat. I didn't care. You know, Big Face brings up how her body hurts because Lucky beat that ass and she's sore. She's sore. She don't fight because she spent so much money on her face. And who wants to pay to get the face she had fixed, fixed some more? No one, not even Jesus. So she also brings up how she wasn't really ready for that third fight, okay? She was only ready for the one hit she swung on Lucky with. I'm like, bitch, you can't swing on us. We swing back, okay? You can't say, I just want to get my lick in. That ain't how fights work, okay? If I, if I, if I swing on you and we fighting... And you fight me back, it's a fight. I'm not gonna say, okay, you hit me back. No, bitch, we're not five. We're not five, okay? Girl, calm the fuck down. Anyway, so at this point in town, Jock, I'm like, we used to all hang out and have fun. We should get back to that. I need to talk to you and Lucky in one place or whatever. And you can't be on no bullshit or whatever. Go in there with a positive mind frame. Do not go in there with a with a with some negative bullshit or whatever, because again. I'm trying to elevate shit, okay? I'm trying to help you. She tells us she's trying to elevate Big Face from sucking dick to dancing. I mean, sucking dick, dancing. Sucking dick, dancing. I mean, both get you money. Both can hurt your knees. Both is servicing me in some kind of way. But I mean, who wants to suck dick all day? No one. Not at all, okay? And then multiples, different genitalia, you. Well, what's that? Okay, so I'm looking like, if, you, if those are the two options, be a dancer. 
I'm your private dancer, dancing for money. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Do what you want me to do or whatever. Okay, anyway, so we see that boom, pow, pow. Now we do see Jonathan talks to Lucky separately. Okay, look, I need you to come with me to talk to Big Face. Okay, and Lucky, like, look, Lucky shirt said, not sorry. Lucky don't care about what happened. You know, she can't fuck with me. I did what I had to do. I'm not sorry about it, okay? And Josh, like, I like that. That's why I made her the bottom bitch, because he ain't a bottom bitch not out here apologizing for doing that work at the all, okay? Now, this point in time, Lucky, like, look, she kept talking shit, okay? She kept talking shit, and that's my issue, whatever. I handled it, okay? I did it. Now, Josh, oh, you know, Big Face grew up in a group home. She, you know, she didn't have shit. She's come from the poor house, trailer park, whatever. She talked care shit about what she has now, but it's all of a side because of how bad her upbringing was or whatever. She's currently here acting the same way she acted in the group home, and I can appreciate looking like, girl, look, I live the same way. I live in group homes. I graduated from a, from a military school, so I know it's like to have to work for shit and not have the best or whatever. So I really, I've been through shit too. Meaning, her side story don't mean shit to me because I have my own side story. And in the, the day, I could not treat people like she treat people. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, white privilege. Um. Anyway, she said that she's willing to sit and play nice, basically, with Big Face because she wants Jocelyn to do what? Make her the bottom bitch. So we then see Jocelyn meets up with Big Face and with um Lucky to say, what's going on between y'all? What, what's the issue? What can we get past this stuff? Or does someone need to go home? Okay, what? Happen. Big Faith brings up how we have saying we have been hanging hard, okay? Me and Lucky making money together, okay? Doing things together. Lucky had to my house, but then she up and left, and I don't know why. Bitch, because she wants to. I wish I would be for the bitch who just left. If she don't owe you money, I don't care if she left. And by owing her money, I don't mean that you expected to make more money with her. As long as she did not actively owe you something, who cares? Move on, bitch. Anyway, Lucky brings up how, you know what I'm saying, you don't realize how you act when you're drunk, okay? You be on some bullshit or whatever. And so when I was around you and you were drunk, it made me uncomfortable, okay? It made it what? It made her uncomfortable, whatever. And she admits I was paying your due, but however, I was doing that for him to give me gain because I needed the money. So that's why I called you in the first damn place. Why does anyone call somebody who, not Big Face, no, not Big Face, no, not Big Face, no. Anyway, so her point was, I was around, yeah, but then you was on some bullshit. I don't like who you are. I was around you enough to realize I don't like your kind, okay? Your shit is too much for me to smell. I don't want that or whatever. Big Face brings up how I felt like she got jealous because who was making some video, some sexual stuff or whatever, and she looked like she may have been jealous. I felt like she was jealous. And I'm like, jealous? She just told you when you're drunk, you be on bullshit. She also brings up how the more drunk she gets, the more she uses the N-word. See, the fact that y'all let her go there and then say, oh, she was drunk. She would have a drunken ass whooped all up and through. Anyway, so, but she finds like, no, it was no jealousy at all. I just did not feel comfortable in that situation. And so I left. I bounced and I did not come back. Because y'all was on some freaky diggy bullshit. Some what? Some freaky diggy bullshit. And she don't like that or whatever, okay? But again, I'm like, I don't care. So Big Face apologizes and says sorry for the part that she played in the whole debacle. Okay, in the whole debacle. And... <laughs> Lucky doesn't really apologize. <laughs> she say, I just, I have to be careful about what I apologize for because I don't know. And I'm like, right. Well, I'm going to say sorry. I ain't sorry for shit. Okay, not sorry for anything. But they both feel as if they're going to play a role so that, you know, Jonathan feels like they're there for the right reasons or whatever. I was like, girl, bye. But lucky thing was, it's a competition. So I'm saying at the end of the day, you know, what happened, happened. We good or whatever. We can move on. And they then hug it out. But 
we do see as they hugged it out that she then say like i'm out here you know in this house or whatever and i'm missing out on money says big face okay big face says she's missing out on money on these streets or whatever and so she wants to get her money and so we then see like later on in the episode but, not later, but like later on we see chanel going to the room and we see big face bags packed oh my god what? Oh my God! What's going on? No. So Chanel go talk to Boss Tag and say, "Girl, why is she, her stuff packed? She leaving." I'm like, "Why do you hoes care? Why is that? This is not best friend race. What are you doing? I don't care if someone else in this competition left because that's closer for me to win. Uh, Boss Tech and and Chanel, I feel as if they know they're not gonna win." And so they don't care. So let's get our camera time in right now so we can get famous later on. Girl, I don't care. And then they're going to tell Jocelyn that they think Big Face left. And that's how it goes off. Girl, next week, the fact that we see Big Lex literally run, jump, and attack Aqua, I say, bitch, this has been brewing, brewing, and brewing, and I can't wait to see it. Okay, anyway, I am done. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.